slowly. Please! It's all right, Welfare. What happened? This person tried to kill us! No, no, it's me. It's Matt Arnold. I'm in her biology class. It was a squirt gun. Oh, shit. We have this game at school, Killer. You get somebody's name, and you're supposed to squirt them. In their house at night? What kind of a game is that? It's about time you putzes got here. And your name is? This is my house. Good for you. Your name is? Arthur Herc. I know the mayor. What took you people so goddamn long? We came as soon as we got the call, sir. My TV. He broke my TV, you son of a bitch! I'm gonna make you pay for that, and you're gonna go to jail! The squirt gun, sir. What? Squirt gun. It's a good thing you ran away, Arthur. You might have gotten wet. Shut up! Easy. Don't tell me easy. This is my goddamn house. And these are my handcuffs. And if you don't take it easy, you'll be wearing my handcuffs in your goddamn house. That's right, sir. Okay. One at a time, starting with Mr. Killer over here. What happened? Me and Andrew were outside. Andrew and I. Who's Andrew? Nobody. Andrew's nobody, so you were outside with a squirt gun and an imaginary friend? Yeah. Okay, so you and your imaginary friend are outside, then what happens? Officer Kramitz, would you please go see who that is? You'll be okay. Coming! Uh, Jenny's mom opened the door, and I came running up to squirt her, and then uh, Mrs. Hurt jumped me, or jumped on me, and, uh, and then I went down on Jenny, or I fell on Jenny. This guy says that his son is here. I'm Elliot Arnold. I got a call from Andrew. You all right, Matt? Yeah. Andrew, the imaginary friend? Yeah, well, you better have a good lawyer because your dumbass son broke my TV. That's an RCA 39 inch horizontal. 35 inch diagonal. Could somebody just tell me what happened? I was trying to squirt Jenny and her mom jumped me. Jesus, Matt. Look, I'm sorry that my kid squirted your daughter. I mean, I'm, that, he, that he got her wet. I mean, the way he described it, I thought it was just a game. Well, hey, kids. You know. Yeah? Well, your jerk-off kid is going to jail. Monica, take a look at this. Who shot the TV? Shot it. Nobody shot it. Well, this is a full. Wait a minute. Matt, when you and your imaginary friend were outside, did you see anyone else? No. Mrs. Herc, do you live here with anyone besides your husband and your daughter? Well, there's... Where's Nina? Jesus. Huggy. Nina! Tell me everything you have to go. Nina, that's you? your name? Puggy. Puggy. Nina. I don't think they know I live here. I won't tell. There was another shooter. What do you mean? What do I mean? What do you mean, what do I mean? I mean there was another shooter is what I mean. So, did you take care of the job or not? Matt. Well, did the other shooter take care of it? Uh, hold on a second. Not right now, okay? It's cool, man. Hello. Yeah, I'm here. I want this job finished as soon as possible. You've got that right. I'll tell you who did it. It's probably some goddamn kids. Because these goddamn kids today, they all got goddamn guns. And they're all sniffing glue. Any additional insights, Mr. Herc? Any information can help us to protect you. I seriously doubt that you or any other member of the police force in this town could protect their own dicks with both hands. Thank you for that observation. I'm not going to arrest you, Matt, unless Mrs. Herc wants to press charges. Hey, kids. I want to press charges! Cuff them! Hands are kind of full right now, what with holding my dick and all. This killer thing's really stupid, Matt. Yes, ma'am. Good. Now you and your shithead kid can get the hell out of here and never come back.
Thanks for everything. Oh, wow. <laughs> Go get the Geo, eh, man? You have a Geo? A Metro, the LDI Cooper, the hatchback. My biological father sells them in Tulsa. If the salesman tried to pitch you on free undercoating, it's total bullshit. They fall apart before they rust. 60% of the parts are made from recycled plastic soda bottles. It's true. Listen, I'm sorry my husband's such an idiot. He's probably really upset that his son shot his TV. No, he's an idiot. Do you think someone's trying to kill him? God, I hope so. What does a guy like Arthur do for a living? He's an executive at Penultra Corporation. <laughs> I did an article on them once. They built the jail downtown where the plumbing doesn't work. I called it Crapital Punishment. Elliot Arnold from the Herald? I used to read your column. You were so funny. What happened? I lost my sense of humor in the divorce. <laughs> How does a guy like Arthur end up with someone like you? I married him when Jenny was little. My first husband left us kind of early, and we had to move to this crappy little apartment. And I met Arthur. He was different then. I keep looking up divorce lawyers in the phone book, but then I think about that horrible apartment. It's unavailable. I live there. <laughs> Can I borrow this? I'm totally into the seminal fluids. Arthur threw mine out at the car wash. He doesn't think it's music unless somebody's playing an accordion. I'll drive. I say we blame the whole evening on rap music and too much violence on television. You could yell at me if it'd make you feel more dad-like. I don't want to yell at you. Why don't we talk, you and I? Let's just talk. Come on. Okay. Mom wanted me to remind you that the alimony check is due Monday. See? That wasn't so hard. Look, Matt. Dad, I messed up tonight. Everybody messes up. You know that better than anybody. So all I'm saying is I don't think I need any fatherly advice from you about how to live my life when you're not doing such a hot job living yours. Hey, we're talking. Okay. Now it's my turn. Up yours, you little shithead. Your turn. Puggy. Puggy. I'll bring you some nachos. Listen, I love you. <laughs> 